Pirates of the Caribbean has been significant to Disney fans since the day it was announced. People love the attractions that tell stories, and this one tells an amazing story. And of course, it's one of the most elaborate uses of audio animatronics, all of which contribute to make Pirates of the Caribbean one of the, the fan favorites all over the world. Throughout our display here, we've been trying to show the development of the attraction, some early versions, some d documentation, which doesn't get shown very often. Walt Disney started thinking about pirates very early on. When he started developing and designing Disneyland, one of the first things he was trying to figure out was where he could put a pirate theme into his new park. So these three renderings are really rare. We have never shown them before. They're images that Ken Anderson did of pirate ghosts that were created initially to put into the Haunted Mansion in 1957. Of course, they never made it into the mansion, but pirates went into Pirates of the Caribbean 10 years later. When he finally developed New Orleans Square, at Disneyland in the early 60s, then he realized, well, this is where I can put my pirate walkthrough at that time. A few years later, they developed It's a Small World at the New York World's Fair, and that suddenly was like, wow, we can put people on boats. They decided to turn their little wax museum tableau walkthrough into a big attraction using all this audio animatronic technology and have the figures actually move and then ultimately sing. These are the original pencil lead sheets from Pirates of the Caribbean's theme song. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Handwritten by Exitensio from our Imagineering Division. A testament to its popularity as an attraction in the parks that they took it and turned it into five huge movies and then of course went back and took some of the characters from the movies that had become just as popular and put them back in the attractions. Walt was the first one to, to want to plus things and so I'm sure Walt himself would have you know, grown the attraction and as it opened in new parks and, and new places around the world that he would enhance it and I think he would be happy with the wonderful technology that we're using in Shanghai today to make it a completely different experience but even more rich and his goal was to, to use the cutting edge technology of his time and seeing it done today as well would make him happy I think. Yo, oh, yo, oh, a pirate's life for me.